Hey, hey, Dodgers Nation, on this episode of the 3 Up 3 Down podcast, we're going to talk about the impact of the Julio Urias injury on the Dodgers rotation, Max Muncy's lackluster August so far, and another reason to be so happy that we have Max Scherzer. Welcome back to the 3 Up 3 Down podcast. My name is Eric Euler, your host for this 5-Minute Dodgers Nation production, and you can find me on Twitter and Instagram, that is at EEU. L-A-U. I'm recording this for Sunday Night Baseball where the Dodgers are going for the sweep of the New York Mets in New York City. The Dodgers winning Friday and Saturday night's game, both extra innings, bringing the Dodgers 2021 regular season record in extra innings to an illustrious three wins and 12 losses. Still awful, still horrendous, still concerning, but trending in the right direction. So big shout out to Cody Bellinger, Will Smith, Corey Knable, and Kinley Jansen. Not those guys are ever going to watch this and not that they won those games for me, but all key reasons why we won those games. Also, Walker Bueller, not go through the whole roll call, but those guys, that group of players really stood out. Some bad news that did stand out as well from this series is Julio Urias landing on the IL on Saturday, August 14th, after taking a ball off the calf on Friday. And Andrew Freeman will never admit it. Dave Roberts will never admit it. No one the Dodgers will ever admit it. But I think they're quietly happy that they have a legitimate minor injury that they can use to get Hurrius on the IL. They don't have to make one up like they have in the past. But look, the guy was trained to finish over 200 innings, something the Dodgers said they did not want to do in spring training. This is the best season he's ever had as a starter. Look, of 49 qualified starting pitchers with at least 117 innings pitched, that's what you need to be a qualified starting pitcher, he is top third, top third in ERA, whip, and wins. I'm not a big wins person, but the ERA and the whip is impressive. His best season as a starter by far. It does put the Dodgers in a weird situation, but look, I'm not I'm not happy about this serious injury. No one should be, but they're playing the Pittsburgh Pirates for the next three games. So yes, the bullpen game on Monday, not probably not going to be great. Then you have David Price on Tuesday and Mitchell White on Wednesday. They'll be able to figure it out, but Urias should get some much-needed time off, let him rest that arm a little bit. And look, if the playoffs started tomorrow and it was Game 7, well, I don't know why it would start with a Game 7, but you know what I'm trying to say, and you needed six outs, who will Urias be playing? It's a calf contusion. He's a pitcher. He'll be fine. So, I, I look, he's going to get some rest. It's going to be, it's going to benefit Urias down the road. It doesn't really benefit the Dodgers right now, but luckily they're playing the Pittsburgh Pirates. So Urias getting some much-needed rest. It's only been 11 games so far, but Max Muncy's having the worst month of his regular season for 2021 right now in August. For the month, the guy's hitting 200. The power just hasn't been there. And before everyone freaks out, I just want to clear up a couple of things. One, the guy was an all-star for a reason. Two, it's a small sample size. And three, I fully expect him to bounce back. But you look at some of these stats, and what got my mind going on this was watching that really bad strikeout against the Astros, which I thought was so uncharacteristic for Max Muncy. I thought it was very striking. Pun intended. But you look at the what the two rate stats, I think, are very telling with just why his August has been so wonky and subpar for Max Muncy. You look at the K rate at 24.4%, well above his season average. And then the biggest one is the walk rate down to 4.4%. This guy led the league in walks for weeks and weeks on end, led it in OBP, and the way to runs created plus of 74, meaning right now he's 26% worse than league average. He will bounce back, but the Dodgers need all the offense they can muster, especially with bets out and especially with the starting pitcher shorthanded and Muncie is a big piece of that. It's certainly not breaking news, but having Max Scherzer in your starting rotation is really, really nice. We all know that as Dodger fans, but we really appreciate that. I mean, think about it. Friday and Saturday night's games against the Mets both go to extras. That means a lot of high leverage, high stress pitches and innings on your key bullpen guys. Yeah, Bueller went seven deep. He was awesome. He should win the Cy Young, in my opinion. I'm a little bit biased. But you have you get to roll out Max Scherzer on Sunday to give the bullpen a bit of a breather. And they're going to need Scherzer's length and his strength, as Mark Jackson would say. The guy, four of his last six starts, has gone at least six innings. He's going to be a big reason why the Dodgers are going to be able to keep winning games, even with only three legitimate starters right now in the rotation. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Make sure to check out DodgersNation.com. Make sure to subscribe, rate, review to our YouTube page. Download the Dodgers Nation app. Check out. Dodgers Dugout with Doug McCain and the flagship Blue Heaven podcast with Brooke and Clint. Thank you, and we'll see you on the other side.